second. We, we barely, barely won that by like less, I think it was 0.3 seconds. 0.3. Ugh. So, so clutch. I assumed I was going to lose that. Like, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to admit defeat. GG. We done. So, now they've opened a new pathway and turned uh, towards the map. Um, then they introduced weapons, and the second or third map was the doorway. Second map was weapons. And now, in order to make it harder, they will now allow enemies to start targeting you with weapons. And it seems like every weapon that targets you has a missile launcher um, and can just, you know, blow you up in a single hit. Which is kind of annoying, just in general. Um, you know, getting getting blown up as you're you're driving does get very frustrating after a while because if you already you know get in a position and block it slash don't have a shield, um, not block it but avoid the, the contact. You're sort of just shit out. Of it. And the other way to block or to, to dodge the bullet is by doing like a serpentine movement, movement like right there. Um, which can potentially get you to crash, which I have, I think, done multiple times. If not, it feels like a thing I should have done. Um, not sure if I play that. Um, I think I here, I, yeah, like there, I was trying to like move out of the way to get to avoid the, the rocket, and ended up just getting thrown into a wall instead. Um, I'm still in first, so. I'm pretty sure I was like, something's up with you. Stop trying to rhyme into my side of the car. Just off. That guy threw a rocket at me and killed me down in sixth. I think this is another one of those crush cup blasts. So, um, I'm pretty sure I rep, uh, on the fifth challenge, I run into the pillar, the second pillar of that room. Found out that that is not the way to go. Oh my god. Yeah, that was my, my third death. So it is a little harder. I wouldn't say it's like game breakingly hard, but it is de it does definitely make it a little more challenging. Yeah, I remember that. You can just mow down the um, Such a. I would say the rockets may be a good way to like one shot uh, kill. To, like, guarantee you to kill. But once you can hit someone with a blaster, it feels so much more satisfying. It's like, oh, it's just so good. Um, and I lose my boost halfway in that. Like, why am I slowing down? Oh, that's right. I don't, I don't have a boost. That one I dodged. I'm not sure how. I will definitely take it though. <laughs> not complaining, not complaining. Not at all. I missed my boost there, so I will probably. Seconds. Yeah. I got double shield, that's nice. Now I don't think shield prevents you from running into walls and stuff, so uh, watch out for that still. Uh, I run into that asshole. Yep. I think this is one of the one of my clutch my clutch plays. Seem to have way too many of those. That guy missed the, the jump there. I feel bad for him, so. I found that you always want to boost like, as soon as possible when coming off that jump, just in order to like get a little bit faster than the guy in front of you. That's how I won the third challenge. No, I'm pretty sure I try and do that every challenge. Uh, do I run to that pillar? that hit nobody, I think. I'm not sure if that's what the blue shell and hits like, the guy ahead of you. I know the blue shell hits the guy in the first place, but the equivalent to the blue shell. Um, that's right, I missed that. I get into second, miss that again, get into third or fourth. Wow, that was a series of very unfortunate events. <laughs> now I'm back into second. Um, and first. That one I, I beat by a, a second, or at least, yeah, a little over a second.
Uh, now I can do the fifth challenge. Um, it's just a harder version of the fourth challenge from what I can, from what I can really see. It's the same pathway that gets opened up. Um, people get out, still target you, and attack you. Uh, so I actually edited that out, like all of the, 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 uh, the dying in between. This is a much, much harder challenge. This is the last one, so I was like, I might as well just let do it. in a lot of games that I do uh, all the challenges, or at least try and get all the challenges done. But for whatever reason, Rage and Clank is, uh, or at least in this game, I like doing the challenges. Even though I don't really like racing, I don't do any of the uh, the flying challenges, so don't even bother asking me if I do those. <laughs> and I would totally do them if I didn't suck ass at flying in general, so... I mean, if I wasn't... If I wasn't horrible at flying, I would totally, totally just go out of my way and finish something. Um, but since I do suck ass, I'm like, eh, I don't want to get frustrated trying to fly around and sloppily kill people because I suck. I uh, don't think I got anything with that spray there. Just sort of wasted ammo. It's not really a big problem because uh, it's just a rifle. Right into two things right there, Jesus. Just got like so much low rage apparently. And now I'm in third? Someone must have died. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Now I'm in second because there's a guy down there. Or these guys are these guys are the last uh, people, so second now I'm in first because I jumped over the first the guy in the first place, which is always fun to feel. Uh, which is why you boost there always. The guy next to me, I'm pretty sure, is one of the few people in the last place. So I don't really have to worry about him too much. And I think this is when I run into this pillar. Yeah, that's right. I run into that pillar, lose my boost and my weapon. Um, which is the annoying thing about dying in this, this segment. You lose all of your power ups. But now I'm back at first. Uh, please don't die. I was gonna say, if I just die there, I would have, like, cried. I'm pretty sure that guy that I just killed was in last place, or one of the few last place people. I feel bad for killing him, but I do secure first place. Won 6,000 bolts. Uh, I can go back and get more money, like the Coliseum. Um, I think I had a pause there, so you didn't miss much. Now I, I think I have 30,000 more bolts, um, which is pretty pretty decent. Most of the weapons is like 20,000, so having 30,000 worth of bullets is always fun. I think now we head off to the next world, which is a real pain in the butt. Yeah, the Thug Rendezvous Point. So I think I already mentioned this, but the Thug Rendezvous Point is uh, the world where they give you space challenges. And as I've mentioned already, I, this, these are the only challenges that I don't actually go out of my way and do. Um, just because I've mentioned, again, I suck at flying, I don't really like. Let's hope these weapons work. So, you can either, I'm pretty sure I cut out my first death and just went to the second, um, attempt. So, flying is always a terrible, 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 terrible time with me. Um. I think I try and abuse the shield as much as possible. But that being said, the flying is always... I'm always bad at flying. Um, however, they do allow you to increase and upgrade your, your ship. So, I'm probably going to put some time into uh, upgrading the ship just because if I ever have to do f flying missions again, like this, um, I kind of want to have a good ship and not fuck up as much as I am. I have a way to get a full shield instead of partial shields. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like flying in general, and just games in general. I'm not very good at it, so I always, I always have a very, very hard time dealing with them. So, I will not be completing all five challenges here. Um, like, I just lost my shield there and half of my health. From what? I don't know. Probably uh, an asteroid. Um, but that 
That just shows you that my flying skills are rusty, to say the least. So what I've noticed, uh, a lot of the enemies fly ahead of you. Um, they'll try and shoot at you and then fly ahead. They run in front of you and then try and turn back so you can shoot them while they're ahead of you. Which is nice. Um, definitely is nice. Oh, excuse me. Um, I just, I don't know, I suck so bad I don't even realize that until much later. There. Okay, there we go, I got a few. Uh, I'm not even on wave two yet. I think I'm running into a corner. I've already mentioned the fact that, um, flying missions don't really show you a boundary. At least in this game, it doesn't have, like, a boundary of where you can and cannot go. So you could be, like, thinking that you're going off deeper into space, but you're actually running into an invisible wall. Like I was just doing a few seconds ago. Which can get very frustrating. I assume the edge of the map is the asteroid belt. Now that I'm looking at it. That would be my exception. Oh. Oh wow, I do actually die here, so I'm going to assume that I die. I don't think I'm going to play an entire wave with uh, that much health. Unless I get like a lucky shield. I would say the missiles are useful. Um, because it instantly kills someone and you can lock onto a person. But at the same time, it takes, I think, a little too long to lock onto a person, or like to an enemy. By the time they're out of my sight, uh, it's not even, I don't know, I don't know if I can lock on in time before they get out of my sight. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I think we're testing the boundary. Yeah, I don't think it is the asteroid boat. Um, I'm gonna try into an invisible wall, never mind. I was going to say an asteroid, but that's not an asteroid. That is not a moon. <laughs> that is a space station. I wonder if we're going to get that reference. And I assume a lot more than per usual. So I assume I die here. I just, I just assume the worst in, ma in the majority of flying missions. I don't know, I love the enemies with that much health? Maybe. There's always a, uh, a possibility. I, I don't think there's a very high possibility, but there is still a possibility. Oh, I did get a partial shield. Oh shit. Well, that changes the entire field. It changes everything. Oh, maybe I do win this one. The, with the luckiest drop in the entire world, uh, one that I probably do not deserve. I don't, I don't deserve this amount of kindness, game. You're putting way too much faith into me. I'm just flying into nothingness right there. They don't have a very good clear boundary of how far you can or cannot drive, which it's very annoying because you're either trying to dodge asteroids or you're running into an invisible wall like I am. I got a second partial shield. Damn. Damn, I am the luckiest son of a bitch alive. And this should be the last enemy ship. Where did it go? There it is. Well, shit. Oh, yeah, I've got mad skills. And really, mad really, really good luck. Yeah. A difficult challenge, but one that a train commando. Hold on. I'm intercepting a transmission. For the fifth time, I have a collect call to thugs for less than a Mr. You Are Gonna Die. Will you accept the charges? <laughs> oh, you are gonna die. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. You idiot. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm paying top dollar for your protection. And your moron employees are off at some picnic. Hey, that was a bonding exercise. Enough! I'm at the pickup point now. If your men aren't here pronto, you can kiss this contract goodbye. Uh, oh yeah? Well, you can kiss your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, dang it.
You showed him, dude. You showed him. Did you trace that? Coordinates locked in. We are headed there now. So that it will be the last fly mission that I hopefully can do throughout the entire game. Um, probably not, though. I don't think this is going to be the end.